our accounts created. Now we're going to go through and associate the board with apps using your at Seymour account information. So most of you have a smartphone and you know if you get a new smartphone, you log on and it already knows what apps you have associated with your phone. You don't have to go back and refine them all. What we need to do today is we have to associate your Promethean board, which is like a giant Android phone, with your at Seymour account and get those apps. So we have to do a couple steps. We're going to go ahead and go to the unified menu. On the unified menu, I'm going to go to Locker, and then on the Locker, I'm going to go ahead and scroll until I find the Google Play Store. The Google Play Store is going to be where you are going to go in order to find all apps that you want to use in your classroom. So I'm going to tap on the Play Store. First thing I have to do is I have to go ahead and sign in. So I'm going to tap the Sign In button. And to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to go ahead and use my wireless keyboard and I'm going to go ahead and sign in using my school account. So that is the first spot I'm going to enter in my email address. The next thing is going to pop up that's going to be this red login screen. You have to enter in your email address again. We have this screen here, so it's possible for students to change their passwords on their Chromebooks. So all I'm going to do is type right here, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my email address. The next thing that's going to pop up is going to be my password. And again, I'm using my wireless keyboard. Once you've entered in your username and your password, it's going to go ahead and load the Google Play Store for you. And depending on when your board was set up, you may take a little bit of time for the Google Play Store to app to load. So what we'll do is you'll know that I am logged into the Google Play Store by looking in the upper right hand corner and it'll be my profile picture. So as it loads, here it is right there. Now we need to go through and set up some of these counts. It'll take just a little bit of time, so stay with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tap up here, move my keyboard in the middle. The first app that I'm going to make sure I update is going to be Chrome. So I'm going to type in Chrome, hit the search bar, and you'll know right here it says install. Maybe yours will stay update, and I'm going to go ahead and click that button. I'm going to go through and do the next app. I'm going to click up there on the very top after the E in Chrome, and I'm going to backspace so Chrome is gone. And I'm going to go ahead and do Docs, D-O-C-S. Right there, I'm going to click on Update, Slides, I have to hit this back arrow on how this one loaded. After the last letter, I delete. I'm going to do drive. Calendar, now depending on your grade, you'd either want to do Google Classroom or you'd want to do Seesaw. I'll demonstrate them both. So I just went through that big long list and it was going through and it's updating them. And you can go through and add them. One of the things you're going to find in the Google Play Store is all of these apps that we just went through are free. And the board will know every once in a while there needs to be an update, but it's not going to automatically update that. So you're going to need to make sure that you go in and do that. So now you're asking yourself, Katie, how do I do that? Great question. So to check to see if your board needs to be updated, what I tend to say is, if your board is just acting different, it's not working quite right, the first 
tech tip I would give you is check to see if the app needs to be updated. You go to the Google Play Store. And in the Play Store, I would go ahead and tap your profile head. And then right here, it's going to say My Apps and Games. And then it's going to go through and tell you if there's anything that we need updates. If there is something that needs to be updated, it would say two apps need update and you say click right there and say update all. You don't have to go through and redo and type all of these uh, apps in again. Once they're there, you can go through there. Now if I take a look at my library, I have done a lot of work on the Promethean boards. So there's actually a lot of different apps on here that I have used and before. Um, so if I wanted to install Firefox, it's already under my profile, I can go ahead and click on install. You would see that I have Khan Academy, Kahoot, Jamboard, TED, um, all kinds of different apps are available to you. So, quick review, we went to the Play Store, signed in, and then we went through our list of apps. We went through and did Chrome, Docs, Slides, Sheets, Drive, YouTube, Calendar, Seesaw or Google Classroom, you can install them both, but if you never use Seesaw, you don't have to worry about that. Now, all of these things we're doing is board specific. If you needed to move to a different classroom, you'd have to go through and reset the board up with your profile. But we'll do the next step.